Welcome to the Worksheets webinar, brought to you by the FDOT Production Support Office. This webinar provides instructions for the creation of worksheets and the intended purposes for which these sheets are to be used. Worksheets use an 11 by 17 inch border to create a PDF from the same master design file that created the large format plan sheet. It is not expected for the worksheets to be modified or edited to include additional labeling, match lines, or callouts. Worksheets are for information only and are not signed and sealed. Let's first look at the timeline for the department's 3D initiatives which began in 2009. The early focus was to create and deliver models for automated machine guidance, or AMG. But, there was also interest in expanding the digital usage of the delivered PDF plans. This was a major initiative by FHWA to become paperless. When the first chapters of the plans production 900 series of the FDM were released in 2020, large format plan sheets were introduced. With the adoption of Bentley's Open Roads Designer, the drainage sheet required a completely new workflow that adopted the large format borders as well. The FDM identified four allowable border sizes. The standard 11 by 17 inch and three larger borders. The 24 by 36 inch, the 36 by 48 inch, and the 36 by 72 inch. It states that when multiple sizes are allowed, the designer selects the size that will most efficiently display the information. It is intended that the designer will select the border size to be used, and that the contract plan set PDF will contain varying sizes of plan sheets. The 2023 FDM release included a table that summarizes the allowable border sizes for each sheet of the contract plans. Some industry partners need more time to adjust to digital usage of the delivered PDF and have requested an 11 by 17 version of large contract plan sheets. For contractors, the department has agreed to place worksheets in the CAD.zip or BIM.zip in the 3D deliverables folder. Worksheets are also provided for utility coordination. This practice should continue through 2024. The steps to create the roadway plan worksheets are as follows. First create a new plan roadway file with the suffix worksheet. After the file is created, reference in the data content files to be plotted, such as, the alignment, design planometrics, survey file, any text notes that you have, and existing utilities. The next step is to use the Open Roads Designer drawing production tools to create name boundaries and sheets. Select the 11 by 17, plan only, option, and the same scale that was used for the large format contract plan sheet. Use the Plan Set Manager tool to add an appropriate sheet title, for example, Roadway Plan Worksheet, or Traffic Control Plan Worksheet, or Utility Worksheet. The last step is to use the Plan Set Manager to print sheets to PDF. We will now perform a demonstration of this five-step process to create utility worksheets representing the design files associated with the roadway contract plan sheet. Begin by creating a new file by clicking on the Create File tool. Set the discipline to Roadway and the file group to Roadway Sheet Files. For file type select plan RD use the modifier option by typing underscore utilities followed by underscore worksheets. Also, make sure that the correct county has been selected. Then, click the create and open file button at the bottom to reference the data content to be plotted on the worksheets. We will include all data content that is included on the roadway contract plan sheet so that the worksheets provide a complete representation. Click the Fit This button so that the entire project is shown. 
Now zoom into the beginning of this project and make sure that the data contents are properly displayed. It is good practice to make sure that all the levels are on. In the alignment file, check that all of these are turned on for the text notes and the alignment. Once you have verified that the data content is complete, click on the Save Settings button. The next step is to use the Open Roads Designer production tools to create name boundaries and sheets. Click on the Named Boundaries button to bring up the Civil Plan tool. Set the drawing seed to 11 by 17, plan only. Set the detail scale to the same scale used for the roadway contract plan sheet. We then must identify the limits of the boundary. So let's zoom in to first identify the alignment and then snap to the start location. As we move down the alignment, Toward the stop location we can see that the tool is cutting the 11 by 17 sheets. For this demonstration, we are going to snap on station 150 as the stop location. Then do one last click to accept the named boundary entries. This will bring up the Create Drawing dialog box. There is no need to change anything. So click on the OK button to create the drawing models and the sheet models. Looking at the model dialog we see that 14 drawing models and 14 sheet models have been created. Click on the first plan sheet and zoom in to verify that the data content and other information are being displayed correctly. It is good practice to compare the content of created worksheets with contract plan sheets to make sure that the same information is displayed. The last step is to use the Plan Set Manager to add title block information. When we zoom in to look at the title block we see that it is not filled out. So let's click on the Plan Set Manager button to open up the dialog box. To find the worksheet files, Click on the Browse button and navigate to the Roadway folder of this project. And click OK. All the sheet files in that folder will then be displayed. Select the 14 worksheet files in the upper panel, and then click the Move button to show these files in the lower panel. Now click the Select All button below the lower panel. Move the cursor into the lower panel, and right-click the mouse to bring up an action box and select Update Sheet Information. The Edit Sheet Information dialog box then opens up. For this demonstration, we are entering Utility Underscore Worksheets for the sheet title. For project information, use the same FPID, state road number and county, that is shown on the roadway contract plan sheet. We are not going to include the professional information, since these sheets are not signed and sealed. We will not include any of the bridge items, since there are no bridges on the project. Select OK when done with this dialog box. When we return to Plan Set Manager, we see that the title block information has been updated. As an option, we are going to add the prefix UW to the sheet number. Move the cursor into the lower panel and right-click the mouse to bring up an action box again. This time select Renumber Sheets. The Renumber Sheets dialog box then opens. The start number and increment remain 1, but we will enter UW for the prefix. When we return to Plan Set Manager, we see that the prefix is now shown. Before proceeding, click on the Save Sheet List button, and save the list in the project's Roadway Engineering Data folder.
Once it is saved, click on the Plot Sheets button and, depending on the number of sheets, a notice will pop up that the plotting is complete. Click OK and close the Plan Set Manager dialog box. We now can find the created worksheet PDF in the Project Roadway folder. When we open this file, the 14, 11 by 17 worksheets are contained within. This concludes the demonstration. This webinar has demonstrated how quick and easy it is to create worksheets for someone familiar with the files used to create the large format contract plan sheet. Worksheet PDF based on the final sign and sealed large format contract plan sheets should be placed in the CAD.zip or BIM.zip in the 3D deliverable folder. If there are any questions concerning worksheets, contact Paul Hires or Vern Danforth.